The uh, other muscles uh, of the leg are best seen from the back side, so we'll flip it over. And uh, the first thing we notice on the upper part, we can see his buttocks area. Right up here is the gluteus medius, and right below that, the gluteus maximus. And they're in the same position as they are in us, it's just that uh, the sizes are the opposite of us, where our medius is small and the maximus is big. Here it's the reverse. But still, the medius is superior, the maximus is inferior, just like on us. There is another muscle on the cat we're not going to worry about. It's called the caudofemoralis. We don't have it, so we won't worry about it. More relevantly, more importantly, on the back side of the uh, uh, thigh are three uh, muscles that form the hamstring group. They are the posterior flexor muscles that flex the lower leg. The three hamstrings, and this on the lateral side is this huge biceps femoris. Right next to it, a narrow semitendinosus. And then, we'll flip the cat over in a moment, there's a medial semimembranosus. These muscles originate on the ischial tuberosities at the bottom of the pelvis. They insert on the back of the tibia. They pull the lower leg. They flex it. They pull it up towards the butt, the ischial tuberosities, causing flexion of the lower leg. Uh, they, the, the, uh, this group are the antagonists of the quadriceps femoris, which extends the lower leg. Uh, uh, the, uh, let's just see that third one. The third one is right here, the semimembranosus. Uh, so the semimembranosus is visible from the anterior side. Right above it is that adductor magnus. But it's, it's actually down here, it's originating in the ischial tuberosity, not at the pubic symphysis. So semimembranosus. And from this view, here's the narrow, oops, there it is, semitendinosus. We'll pretend it's still attached. And, and, <laughs> and, that's, and then on the lateral side, the huge biceps femoris. The uh, memory aid I like to suggest is just as the biceps femoris flexes the lower leg, similarly to the biceps brachii of the upper uh, arm flexes the uh, forearm. Uh, all right, now on the back side, actually we'll look at the uh, medial view here. We have the medial side of the lower leg. Here's the tibialis anterior. On the medial side next to that is what I call the FM muscle, the FDL, the flexor digitorum longus that flexes the toes that's on the medial side. <clears throat> on, on the uh, lateral side, looking at the leg laterally, so we see again tibialis anterior on the front, but here on the lateral side, this is the extensor digitorum longus. After all, the flexor was on the medial side, FM. Just deep, the extensor digitorum longus is the fibularis or peroneus longus, either term, that everts the sole of the foot. And then, on the back side, we have this huge gastrocnemius muscle, the superficial calf muscle, and right underneath it, a thin soleus muscle. Both this gastrocnemius and soleus insert via the Achilles tendon, named after Brad Pitt, uh, the Achilles <laughs> tendon onto the calcaneus or heel bone. And that plantar flexes the foot, meaning it pulls the heel up, and uh, uh, so the per uh, so you're standing on your toes. So. Uh, you can also see, again, here's just another view of uh, that gastrocnemius muscle here. Again, it's not fully exposed. There it is. The gastrocnemius and the soleus right below it, uh, both, both attached by the Achilles tendon. Uh, the last uh, couple of muscles, we've mentioned uh, the sartorius on the lateral side of the hip. Uh, next to the sartorius originating on the anterior superior iliac spine is the tensor fascia lata that inserts on the tibia. It's a relatively small muscle on the lateral side of the hip uh, that abducts the, the leg, pulls the legs apart, away from the midline. In that respect, it's an antagonist of those medial adductor muscles.
Okay. Is that everything? Yes. Yeah. No? Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. I'll be a star. I'll have the most